Okay, so this is for the physics project. Hello. And I'll say hello. Okay, what we're going to do is we're gonna like experiment with resonance using different linked pipes and then an oscillator connected to a speaker which is down there. Yeah. Um, up here we have a computer, which is kinda useless now. Then we have like the sound system, and then we have the source of our oscillator, which is my phone. And we did a bunch of calculations in Excel to figure it out. Okay, so here you see your formulas. The very top one you see is the equation for finding the wavelength. This is the basic one we have from physics. And the one on the bottom I'll get to in a second. The basic one that we have on top we used, we plugged in, and we found the antinodes. We didn't use the first antinode, but we used one way on down because of the semi-quiet nature of the pipe. Uh, it tended to do better. And then with the second equation that you see here, this is actually one we found online halfway through our, our project. This equation is actually from a guy who creates PPC instruments for a living. I don't know how he does it, but he does. And he uses this formula to find the perfect links, and they're really, really accurate. We plugged it in, and it was actually really, really close to our Okay, so now we're in Excel. Uh, this is where most of our math took place. In the A column, you see the different tones we have. We have two octaves of C, and that's 26 notes. We use 13 from an A flat to an A flat. In the second column, you see the semitones, which is just relative to the bass tone we used, which was an A at 220 hertz. Uh, in the C column, you'll see the uh, hertz of all the different notes that we calculated. They may not be perfect, but they're the best we could calculate with what we had. In the D column, you see the diameter of the pipe, the same all the way down. And then the fascinating one, which is the one that, that we're proud of, would be the length of the pipe. That's the one you see here in column E. Uh, Excel made this a lot easier because of the function of using formulas and being able to just plug and chug. Copy the formula, give it in different inputs, and out comes length of the pipe. These are all actually within one tenth of an inch accurate. Okay, here's all of our sorted pipes. Uh, a flat to A is right, and then C and E. Okay, and then it's a basic chromatic it's one octave, 13 notes. And we are going to start off with these two. And we're going to go from there. After the tubes are cut to the links, this one being 64 inches, go ahead and hit it. We can see that it makes a sound. And so when we put it on there, we know what we need to set it to for the pipe to resonate correctly. OK, for our first test, we're using the oscillator. And it's set to 164 hertz. And that is the key of E at 164 hertz. Okay. First test. Okay, we can see the pipe is resonating relatively loudly. You can see the, the volume over here isn't up very loud. It's actually pretty low. But we can turn it up and you can actually see some pretty violent results. It actually starts to shake under its own like energy. This is high sweet. C. 265 hertz. You can hear that this one's kind of quiet. But that's because we had to turn the volume down. And so we'll turn the volume up. And you can hear it. Okay, so we managed to screw up our speaker, and so now we give you handlebars on a broken speaker at the very end. I can ride my bike with no handlebars, no handlebars, no handlebars. I can ride my bike with
It's a raw crooked D. I can show you how to do si do. I can show you how to scratch a record. I can take apart the remote control, and I can almost put it back together. I can tie a knot in a cherry stem. I can.